to share the word with us today is our sister, Sister Ingrid Allen. She is the personal ministry director of the Red of Hope Church. I don't know what God has impressed on her heart to share with us, but I only hope that whatever it is, we will take it and we will live it out in our daily lives. Sister Allen is a passionate speaker, I can tell you that. I love to hear her speak. She is married, of course. This handsome gentleman of the front is her husband. So, without further ado, we'll have the meditation by Brother Dawes, and after the meditation, Sister Ali. Amen? Amen. Amen. We would have missed many of our elders because of sickness, because of pain, because of difficulties. But we have promised that one day, that day, when there is no more sorrow, no more pain. Are you looking forward for that day? Are you looking forward for that day? Yes. I don't know about you, but I am looking forward. What I mean. There is coming in a day when a holiday shall come. No more clouds in the sky. No more tears for them behind. All is And as gold and happy shore, what a day, glorious day that will be.
Mary or Martha thought that knowing that Lazarus was sick, who was sick, Jesus would leave everything, drop everything that he's doing and road come. Yeah. But Jesus said, no. We have to listen to what the Bible says now. Let's see why Jesus did not go. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. When he had heard therefore that he was sick, he abode two days, not one in the church, two days still in the same place where he was. Then after that said he to the disciple, let us go into Judah again. again. Yes, sir. His disciples said unto him, Master, the Jews have placed out to stone thee and rose thou thither again. Jesus answered, Are there not twelve? I said, Jesus is on a mission. But the disciples don't know the mission. So let's listen. Are there not twelve hours in the day? If any man walk in the day, he stumbled not. Because he see the light of this world. Yes. But if a man walk in the night in darkness, he stumbles because there is no light in him. Because that is sin. Yes. Jesus is the light of this world. Yes. These things said he, and after that he said unto them, Our friend Lazarus sleepeth. Yes. But I go that I may awake him out of sleep. Listen. Then said the disciples, Lord, they still can't understand. They can't understand Jesus' um, speech. Lord, if he sleep, he shall do well. Yes, Which is right. Yes. If you sleep, you must wake up. Yes. All right. How big Jesus said of his death. But they thought that he had spoken of taking off sleep in rest. No, taking off rest in sleep. Then said Jesus unto them plainly, Lazarus is dead. Yes. You might see some job job. What? Dead? Dead? And I am glad, this is the part, for your sake, that I was not there. To the intent he may believe. Nevertheless, let us go unto him. Because Jesus is speaking about his disciples now, you know. And he's saying, glad he never did it for their sake, the church people's sake. Because they don't believe their doubt has in God's house. You come into church, but you still doubt God. Come on, preacher. Say, this glad you want that, that's why they live. Because they're walking with him, but they're still in doubt. They're still in disbelief. They're not believing God. Come on, man. I am glad for your sake that I was not there to the end. Intent he may believe, nevertheless, let us go unto him. Yes. Then said Thomas, which is called Didymus, yes. unto his fellow disciples, Let us also go that we may die with him. Yes. More talk. <laughs> I said, I'm more talk. Because when the time comes, they will all run. Hello, somebody. Hey. Lord, make me say anything. But when the situation comes, that's when you must stand up. Anybody can say, I will die for you. Mm. Put them in the front now. Yeah. They are all right, gone hide. Hey. Let's see, only the Spirit of God can allow us to stand in these times. Yeah. Then when Jesus came, he found that he had laid in the grave four days already. Jesus is already in mm. Now Bethany was not unto Jerusalem about 15 furlongs off. And many of the Jews came to Martha and Mary, a church people, they married them, yeah, to comfort them concerning their brother. Mm. Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary sat still in the house. Mm. Then Martha said unto Jesus, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. Come Jesus did that to the day. No. He could just be the one. Doubters. He could just speak the words of Jesus not to be in a presence to save you. Hello, somebody! Just ask and you will be saved. You don't need to be in your presence. Lord, if thou had been here, my brother had not died. But I know that even now, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it thee. She's saying this, but she's not saying it in depth enough. She's saying this, but there's still some doubt in her mind because when Jesus says, Jesus said unto her, thy brother shall rise again. This is her response. 
Martha says unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. She you know, knows that right now, you know. And right now, Jesus is attacking up. I say, you're dead in sin, but Jesus can resurrect you right now. You don't need to die in your sin. I say, Jesus is the resurrection and the life. I say, sin bring death, but Jesus bring life. So if you're here and you don't surrender to Jesus, now don't wait. Now is the day. Now is the time to make it right with God. No man knows. What lies ahead of them? Mercy. You only know for now. Yes. You can be in here right now and you just drop. Hello, somebody. Yes. And where would you spend eternity? Think about your soul's salvation. Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. Sin has Finish this song for me. Yes, man. And he did what? He washed it white as snow. So we don't need to tie up in sin. Because Jesus already set us free. Amen? Amen. Says, where was I? You have to follow him, young know, man. 25. All right. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection. Hello. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. I said, we are dead. Mercy. I said, we spiritually dead. Mercy. I said, we spiritually dead, but Jesus can resurrect us. Yes. Yes. Jesus can resurrect us. We don't have to be spiritually dead all the time. And guess what? If you're spiritually dead, you're not going anywhere. Mm. Because in the spirit that is going to help us to elevate. Hello, somebody! If you don't have no Holy Spirit, you're not going to elevate. It's the Holy Spirit that will help us to elevate when Jesus comes. Amen. She said unto him, Yeah, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, we should come into the world. And when she had said so, she went her way and called Mary, her sister, secretly saying, The Master is come and calling for thee. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came unto him. Now Jesus was not yet come into the tomb, but was in that place where Martha met him. The Jews, then which were with her in the house, and comforted her when they saw Mary, that she rose up hastily and went out, followed her, saying, She goeth unto the grave to weep there. <laughs> then Mary came, was come where Jesus was and said unto him, and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying unto him, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. The two sisters said the same thing. Yes. Same thing, brothers and sisters. Doubting God. God worked miracle where he's not even there. He just said be well. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping, which came with him, he groaned in his spirit and was troubled. And said, We are not being laid in. Do you think Jesus was crying because Lazarus was dead? No? Because Jesus has his mission, he knows what he's about to do. Yes. But he's sorry for them weeping. And not only that, he's weeping because they are so unbelieving. Mm. So what a set of people. And believing because they have done so many things, but yet they still don't believe. Jesus wept. Then said the Jews, Behold how he loved him. Not crying for Lazarus. Because Jesus called Lazarus that dead. Lazarus was sleeping. So they don't understand Jesus' mission yet. And some of them said, The critics, could not this man which opened the eyes of the blind have caused that even this man should not have died? We have them in the church. Come here to criticize, they don't come to worship. They come to look how church service are going and how things chaka chaka. And then they go and go talk to the back and they're not helping to make it right. I said, stop it in the house of God. We must work together to make church nice and sweet. One man cannot do it, he needs a team. A team of 
have worshippers. So we don't come and sit at back bench. And because you know, get your office, we say we not do this and we not do that. Come on, preacher. We fall up our hand. And we have to give that God to us. Hello, somebody. I said, God is going to take it from you. And he's going to use the lowly member to lift the church because God must specialize in people. Hello, somebody. In a matter of qualification, God does specialize in people. He will call you and equip you. Hello, somebody.
39. Eh? 39. 39. Yeah. Martha, this is the king that was dead, said unto him. Lord, by this time he's thinking, for he had been dead four days. Jesus said unto her, said I am not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. Oh, yeah. So she said she still never believed. Right. This is your question, she never believed. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. I knew that thou hast pierced me always. But because of the people, the church, the people, the church has in God's house. That's why Jesus has to pray again. Because of them, we stand by. I said it, and that they may believe that thou hast sent me. Amen. 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 I tell you, church full of daughters. That's why when we have to pray for people, now just some people with you. I said that the prayer not answer. Because they come with them doubting. When Jesus went to work, so we left some people behind. We need to stop in the door. God, we have too much experience. You must say, God, good. Yeah. And the same God we served yeah. yesterday, the same today and forevermore. Yeah. And what He did for them, He can do it and do yeah. more for you. Hello, somebody! He can use you to just avail yourself. Yeah. Because He won't use no dirty vessel. He clean it up! Yeah. Clean it up if you want to be used by God. Yeah. God made us yeah. not to go in hell's fire. Hellfire to Satan and the angel. Not for us. But if we tie up in a sin, then we decide to go to hell with Satan. Yes, sir. So Jesus said, hey, hey. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was there. Oh, I pray read that already. And when he thus has spoken, he cried with a loud voice. Some people say, we talk too loud. Hello! But that is the blood is from
and lose them. We naturally go to On the time I've been asking too much. I said, God, you want to lose me. He said, Come. Don't tell He said, Come. Just as you are. Ashamed, show 
if you are not yet a child of God. A baptized member. So everybody here baptized. <clears throat> Wonderful. You know, if you are in the church and you know, say, you cannot wrap up in a day, grave clothes are seen. But I'm not perfect. Enough. And you want God to take off you completely. Stand up. Stand up. God work with those who are honest. Amen. He wants to cleanse us. Me standing up too. Because not because of your preaching. I am not perfect. I have my sins too to take to Jesus. Hello, somebody. Right. The message is for me too, not for you only. Jesus wants to cleanse us from all our sins. We are going to be singing 294. Would you be free from your burden of sin? There is power in the blood. And I would like the Lamichel to come and sing for me because my voice is not so hundred. But I want church, let us sing with power. Let the blessings of God come down in this place. Let the Holy Spirit fire fall on your head because God is going to do some loosing today. Just tell yourself, Jesus, may that be to yourself. I want to be loosed. I know you are able to lose me. So I give myself to you now. To be loosed by you. Whatever my sin, you know your sin problem. Tell it to Jesus. Don't tell nobody. Tell Jesus what you want to be loosed from. Because he knows it. And you know it. So this is something for you. Individually. You are going to do this for yourself. Because you want to have a closer walk with God. You want to be loose from the traps that Satan sets because he's setting them up now. And he's gonna strong up and fall to them. Amen. So let us go. 294. Who don't be free from your burden of sin? There's power in the blood. Would you be free from your burden of sin? There is power in the blood. Church, what you 
sing this verse again softly and, and let us really focus on what we are saying today. Yes. Amen. We, we hear Martha and Mary doubt, but can we free from our doubt today? Yes. Would you the same Jesus, we 
glorify your name, Jesus. We bless your name, Jesus, because you are worthy. You are worthy of our praise. Thank you for hearing and for answering. Amen. This Jesus, with blessings.